again and welcome. Today's video is going to be my way of uh, producing finials. I've had a few questions regarding the methods I use so I thought it might be a good idea to show you. I'll say from the very beginning I'm not an expert in finials. Um, the high priestess of um, fine finials is Cindy Drozder. She's known worldwide for her fantastic work. Um, I'll put links to Cindy's channel um, and you may even want to buy some of her DVDs that go into great detail on the process. This is just a basic uh, introduction into finial making. I build it CA, John Heiss's channel, brilliant channel. Finally got a t-shirt after seeing uh, my mate uh, Brendan Bacon Soda get one of these. I was very lucky that John actually put up another um, amount of t-shirts to um, to buy, so I thought apart from supporting his channel, I'd have this pretty cool t-shirt. I must say, it's quite warm here today, and this is a very, very well-made t-shirt. I can wear this in the winter months, I think, but then coming from Canada, you know, you'd expect that sort of thing. Um, great t-shirt, John. Thanks very much. Uh, only took about 10 days to get over here, which is brilliant. Uh, John's channel, I've followed John for many years. I'm not a flat woodworker, uh, you know, woodworker, I'm mainly into turning, in case you haven't uh, realised. And um, I, I get great entertainment from John, he comes up with some great ideas. The main thing I like about it is no nonsense production of his videos, no messing about, gets to the point and um, answers the trolls in a wonderful way. Um, very entertaining and a very talented guy. So uh, thanks for keeping me entertained and many thousands, John, over the years. So I'll put a link to John's channel down below, uh, go across there and see what I mean. He, a really, really great channel to get involved, subscribe and like his videos. So without further ado, well, with a little bit further ado, I'm going to be doing today's um, video with a piece of scrap wood basically. Uh, it's a soft wood, it's what you find on, uh, on, on packing cases and stuff like that. It's free, you can cut them into small blocks like this and use them to practice with. Uh, and if you mess up, as you surely will, as I do all the time, it's not a great loss. It's just time that you've lost, but you've gained experience without messing up a nice uh, exotic hardwood or some similar well-figured wood. I cut them into blocks like this, and then I mount them, and I can play to my heart's content. Today's video is going to just basically go through the method that I use. Um, it's not a definitive guide, as none of my videos are. It is my method only. So we'll go over to the lathe and I'll show you my methods of producing a basic finial. Okay, so I've got my blank um, in my O'Donnell jaws, the extended jaws. Uh, I've got the tail stalk brought, brought up. The uh, blank is approximately seven inches long by one and a half inches square. As I've explained, it's a very uh, rough piece of um, uh, loose loose grained timber, it could be larch or fir or anything, I really don't know what it is. It came off a packing crate. So it's great to practice with because if you mess it up it doesn't matter. So the idea is to get it to round first so I'll just be using a spindle roughing gouge and get it to round. So the idea is just to get it to a rough, rough round, you can see the finish. We're not interested in the finish, this is purely the process of achieving a finial, a basic finial. Leave the, leave the tail stock up as long as you can for extra support. Um, so start, I've got a 3-8 spindle gouge here, we'll start hogging away the wood. Okay, now we can get rid of the tail stalk and start working on the finial. Tend to work on about half an inch at a time. Just take away the wood with the wing of the tool. Okay, now let's just give that. Just 
just working on the point. Now we can uh, give that a little detail there. Now when you decide at this end what the final thickness is going to be, then you really can't go back. Once you've made your decision, you have to stick with it. just to refine your curves and as I say remembering this is a piece of um, scrap wood we're not aiming at not going to get a perfect finish but it will certainly be acceptable especially if it's your first one because it's a finial so that's the very basic finial People will say, and quite rightly so, it's a bit thick at the top, etc. This is not about design, this is how to get started in doing a finial. And then what I like to do is to just take my thin parting tool and um, just define where the foot is going to be parted off, and we'll say there. So go down to as far as you want the tenon to be and the on the base. Undercut slightly like you would a base of a goblet. That's about it. And then off leaving the tenon. And there is your very basic finial. As I say, no design awards, nothing about the finish, but how to actually start to produce finials. The whole idea 
of this video is to show you the basic method. Take a rough piece of wood, if it breaks it doesn't matter, nothing lost. Obviously the lines on this finial need a lot of work, but let's pretend this is my first finial and I've got that far. Now I can start to practice and refine my technique to get something a lot more pleasing. You can add little fillets and, and little nuances to that finial as you require. And Again, I would doubt I would use this one, but you have the tenon there, and you put it put it away safely, and when you've done a box or whatever, and you think, oh, I've got a finial that'll fit, you've got one ready to do, uh, ready to fit onto that piece. So what I intend to do is another video, um, and we'll go and use a, a really nice piece of wood, and we'll go into the design and do a, a really, uh, what I would call, a finished finial. But this just gives you an idea, and something something for you to go away and have a practice with on a bit of scrap wood. Well I hope that's been of some use to some of you. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Cheers now.